So we're working on a Denso SH7058 ECU in Ghidra. Um, I just came across something that I've been um, haven't been able to find in the past because I didn't know really how to search properly, and I just came across it. Uh, driver's wish maps didn't populate as a data point in Ghidra. Um, so I was messing with some other stuff and I came across a 0 to 100 scale. I wondered if it was throttle position. I started tracking the data point back through Ghidra and I, I kind of came to a portion of Ghidra that was um, analyzed improperly. So that's why the map wasn't so the map in question is 49530 that I haven't been able to find. Okay, I've labeled it so that you know you just know what you're looking for and nothing's referencing this. Okay, so we're just going to copy that, S, paste, search all. Luckily, it's only brought us to one point. 49530, we have a 49504, and it's turned this into a lab, LAB. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and blow this up real quick. So we're gonna clear code with options, clear all. Sorry, let's do that again. Let's see here. I'm going to say right here, this is the interesting deal. So we're going to do a pointer, pointer, pointer. Okay, we're digging that. Um, see these three referenced points? So this is how I kind of just, um, I guess, prototype my... Uh, Yeah, that was what I was looking for. Okay, this is how I prototype my structures. So then you go in and uh, create a new structure, and you create the structure according to byte, 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 pointer, pointer, pointer. This is probably a D word. I, I really don't know. I don't know what this is. But you need to take up um, four bytes of space, use whatever you want, and then this last one has to be a float. I'll show you my structure. Maybe. Okay, so you have a bite, 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 pointer, 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 D word. Sorry. I don't know what this says byte. It's a pointer. This is odd. Maybe I messed up my structures a minute ago. Okay. Okay. There. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it says DB. One of you guys, I'm sure, knows why. Um, the, the data structure needs to be pointer. It needs to be byte, 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 byte. Pointer, 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 D word, float in my situation. But regardless, this achieves what we want it to. Um, we're going to label this as, as driver's wish. Okay, it's always X and Y, every single time, and I've labeled them as such over here. Um, in my case, it's always X and Y. So this is RPM, and this is T. 
TPS, I guess we'll just throw a percent. I don't know if that's necessary. We might find a TPS voltage later. So we're going to go with percent on this one. I'm going to name the struct structure TPS percent 3D structure. And RPM and TPS, we know that because when we look in Winnells, um, you just know that X is RPM and Y is TPS. Um, the beauty part about using Ghidra is oftentimes X and Y will not be with the 3D map. And if Winnells doesn't uh, identify where these locations are, then Ghidra will. My computer is going to die here in a second. So let's just go to X references. And it's... Uh, There it is. Here's referenced there. Referenced here. Okay, so check this out. This is where it's pulling UVAR2. UVAR1, UVAR2. So that's X and Y, X and Y. Now we know that this is RPM. RPM is ran through so many different functions. We don't know that it is. We're just we think it's highly likely that this is going to be RPM. And then I already labeled this um, because I actually, I actually tracked um, might be TPS percent function. It brought me to the lab that we blew up and turned into a 3D structure. Um, I think that's it for what we're trying to achieve right now. So.